So hello everybody, welcome back to SC Aviation. We're at, we're going to do now is that we're gonna set up the FMC to do a route. So for that you have to to have into account two things, two main things: the airport you are flying from and the airport you are flying to. So right now we're at Phoenix Airport, and for the airport you are in, you have to know which ICAO code it has. So in this case, the ICAO code is KPHX, so Kilo Papa Hotel X-ray. And we're flying today to San Francisco. So we go to Route Menu, you're in the index page, then to the Pilot Route List. This CO doesn't stand for Co Pilot, it's for Company Route List. And well, that will be explained later. So you go to Pilot Route List and to Flight Plan. So there you're going to select the airport you are flying from. So in this case, it's Kilo Papa Hotel X Ray. And the airport you are flying to. So Kilo Sierra Foxtrot Oscar here. And your flight number, which can be anyone you want. So I usually use eleven twenty-three and the airline I'm flying, so today I'm flying southwest. Eleven twenty-three. Then we'll go to route menu. Sorry, sorry. No, don't go there. We go is to the next page and we start selecting waypoints. So, we're going to need the waypoints that our navigation software says. So, for example, for your navigation software, you can use Simbrief, uh, so S I M B R E F, or other software, but well, I recommend Simbrief. You can also use Navigraph, but with Navigraph, you need to pay, so yeah. And we're going to select those waypoints. So, in this case, the waypoints are BLH. So you can see it's direct to BLH. You go to next page, then it's direct to DCAS, which is the name of the waypoint. You know, waypoints have strange names. Then you go to P and D. Then we're going. I'm gonna do this quite fast, so because you don't really have to know which waypoint is. Anyway. So we have Ave. There are just a few knackers. Finally, surfer. So, surfer. Alright, so those are the route waypoints. You don't have to have into account the departure and arrival waypoints. Uh, that's related to the seats and stalls, but we're gonna see that in another episode. So, those are the waypoints. Now, you're gonna follow this sequence right here from left to right, from the top. So, sorry. We're gonna first select the climb page. So, here you want to select speed and altitude limit because otherwise you're going to be at very high speeds at very low altitudes so my target speed is 290 knots but below two f below 10,000 feet my altitude is going to be 250 knots and below 500 feet my 5,000 feet my altitude my speed is going to be 200 knots so that my airplane progressively accelerates then you have the cruise uh, the usual cruising speed for the Boeing 737-800 is Mach 0.79, I'm going to select that in target speed. Another episode related to air speeds, it's going to come next, with the Mach number and all those things. And the cruising altitude, which can be anyone you want be below, be, sorry, um, it can be from 30,000 feet up to 41,000 feet, or if you want to go lower, 20,000 feet. It's not common, but well, you can do it. I'm gonna select in this case flight level 360, which stands for 3,000, sorry, 36,000 feet. Now you go to the descent page, but in the descent page, you don't have to do anything. Just in climb and cruise, unless you want to change things, but I don't recommend it. We go to direct to. But we're not going to use this page a lot, so just in case of an emergency, to go direct to an airport, we go to Lex page. We don't have to do to check this page yet. And then you go to Departures and Arrival Index. This one is very important. So you go to the Departures, and here you have so many things. So I'm going to explain them. You have the SITs, which stand for Standard Instrument Departure Procedures, and you have the runways. So you don't know which standard instrument departure procedure to use, so you will know if you use a software like Simbrief or Navigraph. 
but well, if you don't do that, it's gonna be quite complex to do a good route because real level and pine will use them. So in this case, I'm gonna be taking her from runway eight, and my seat is gonna be the Kent's to departure. If you don't understand what I'm really doing, you can watch my other video about navy breath because it's gonna be way better explained. And my transition is BLH. You would say, oh, I know that BLH. Yes, it's because the transition altitude has to be a common waypoint in the departure procedure and in the cruise. So the first one must be LH. So it's in common with the departure, the CANS 2. And we'll go to execute and the departure arrival index again to select our arrival in San Francisco. So what we're going to do here is we're going to select the arrival, which is Surfer 4, and the ALS, which is an instrument landing system. Mm, those that's going to be explained again in another video, which is going to be maybe to a left and the transitions Eddie. So execute. You may think right now, Eddie wasn't in my route, so it's not com a common waypoint. But Eddie does is common in Surfer 4. So it's not in the route, but it's in the arrival. Remember, the order is this: one. the airport, the departure, the route, the arrival, then the approach, and then again the airport. So once that's done, you go to Lex page, and we go then here, and we will select mm, uh, the last one, which is plan, I think. And by doing this. Then you go to step by step to check how the route goes. So there cannot be any discontinuities or strange figures in the air. So we go by step, and if you look at the map, you're gonna see how it moves between each waypoint. These waypoints that we're seeing right now in the in the FMC at the left page were in input manually. So the first one I input was VLH. I didn't input any footed or Askert or Usaid that they automatically input by the departure procedure so we continue step 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 and you can see the route goes very well it's not straight but well it just has little minor curves then goes the arrival perfect beautiful what you are seeing in the right page of the fmc the green thing uh, is the speed and altitude so everything left to the slash is speed and everything right to the slash is altitude so you can see for example in nearly flight level 200 or above then in waypoints like follet you have to be at a speed of 240 knots and at an altitude of 8000 feet or above so just a little explanation there again step step and you may right now say Oh gosh, I see a strange figure in the map. You you had a mistake there. No. That's the Gorhan procedure. But uh, well in simulators you don't have to usually go around so you don't care about that. But if you do want me to explain the go around, leave that in the comments and I will. So that's it. You go back to map and you can go again back to your next page and that's what you're gonna monitor. Now you may now ask, how do I make the airplane do what I've just input? So it's easy. The airplane is controlled in three dimensions. The lateral navigation, the vertical navigation, and the navigation related to speed. So listen to this carefully. You have to know how fast you want to be, at which point in the world, and how high. So for that, you're going to go right here to the mode control panel, which controls mainly the autopilot. And the flight directors go on, which control mainly the path that the airplane is, flowing, is, is flying. Then the auto throttle is set to arm, so that when the airplane is able to take control over the throttle, it can. So it's arm. And vertical navigation and lateral navigation. So you can see we have three things. Speed. Lat vertical navigation and lateral navigation with those three switches there. Then in the heading, 
you want just to select right here the runway heading it's not I mean you don't have to but it's a good habit so the runway heading is 080 as we are taking that for runway 08 and that's it so once you take off you just have to press right here command A by pressing command A the A autopilot system because you have two A or B the A autopilot system will take care of the whole flight and well that's more or less this it if you want to show another procedure just leave it in the comments and that's it thank you very much for your time